Hi guys, welcome back to another video, another haul. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara. If you are new over here, I have three amazing kids. Jackson who is 10, Lucy who's just about to turn 5 and Ezra who is 2. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm doing a massive back to school haul. I'm trying to get going to get through this as quickly as I can because there is a lot of stuff. I've got two kids going to school this year. Lucy who is starting prep which in Australia is the first year of proper schooling and Jackson who is going into year five. So I've got two kids starting school this year. It is back to school season for us folks here in Australia. I know overseas they're back to school. Yeah. The back to school season is mid-year but here in Australia our biggest break is over the Christmas period where the kids get about eight weeks off school and they go back at the end of January so here is all of the stuff I also wanted to throw in there that I am also going back to school yes this crazy working mum over here that has barely any time to spare is somehow going to fit in full-time schooling along with 40 hours of work each week and raising and sorting out three children and a fiance soon to be husband so that is going to be very interesting I'm going to TAFE and doing my diploma of government so at the moment I work as a um, manager reception manager for an eye clinic a private eye clinic I do eventually want to get into the hospital sector of things so this diploma of government is going to make me look better for those positions. I've got the experience, I just don't have the qualifications to match it, so that is what I'm doing this year. Um, it's going to take 12 months to get my diploma, and so yeah, that's super exciting, super nervous. I will keep you updated on how things go, so yes. That's a bit of news. At the end of this video, I will also let you know total figures of how much I spent for all of this back to school stuff, how we save for that, because it is quite expensive, and just a few tips and tricks that maybe you uh, could do yourself for next year starting now. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly like run through the basic stationary stuff because like we all know what pencils looks like we all know what folders look like I went through a local company in where we live and paid for them just to choose all the book stuff and I just paid the one standard fee because I don't have time to go to the stores and hand pick everything so Lucy's school list cost me $63 and Jackson's was 165 or something like that so Jackson for his year five schooling required one, two, three, four, five, six of these. I just put lipstick all over that. Um, six of these, what are they called? Display folders. So he got six of those. He also got a grid book for maths. Ugh. Sorry guys, I'm super prepared, I know. Also got like schooling grammar book that was required, a maths book which was required, and then he also has 10 exercise books. So I also brought these cupboards because this mama has no time or patience to be contacting exercise books. So I brought these cupboards Kari can talk, covers that just go over your books. Um, I think I got I spent about $40 on them for all of Jackson's and Lucy's, but my opinion, spending that money and not having to contact books is well worth it. So those are some of the prints Jackson shows. Ugh. So those are Jackson's book side of things. I'm just jumping around here. Jackson's school bag. He chose this Mickey Mouse gaming one. I got this for $40. I got this for $40 on sale in the Boxing Day sales. He also required a library bag, colored pencils, textures. He also required a set of headphones and pencil case. In the pencil case, I mean, we've got all your standard pens, glue sticks, there's a pair of scissors in there, highlighters, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Um, ruler, 
two packets of lead pencils. I don't know if it's just Jackson schooling, but seriously, how many lead pencils do they go through in a year? Like, there's how many in here? 12, 24, 12, there's 24 lead pencils. Jesus. He also got um, a visual diary. He also got a little folder. And that is it for all of Jackson's book stuff that is required. I'm just going to dump that over there and deal with it later. Um, still keeping on the theme of Jackson, I think. I'm not going to show you their school uniform shirts because, you know, privacy. Uh, but we did go ahead and get him three pairs of green shorts, which is the school colour. They cost $10 each from Target. So he got three pairs and then I brought him two school shirts, which I'm obviously not going to show, and a school hat, which I'm not going to show. Um, in terms of food preparation... Each kid got one of these Eskies in far north Queensland where we are from. It is a requirement from the school that the children bring an Esky for lunches. It is really hot and they don't have freezers to put their lunch boxes in. They also use the Eskies as a seat at recess. Um, they also got one of these Smiggle snack lunch boxes each. Ugh. So it's like the bento style. So I got one of those and then I also got these Sachi reusable these Sachi reusable lunch bags so that fits a sandwich and that's a snack so that's what they'll be using for school Jackson's water bottle I don't know it's somewhere in his room but he also got a new water bottle the only thing we haven't got for Jackson yet is his new school shoes because I want him to come with me. I didn't want to buy them without him. I just know how picky he is, so I still have to get his school shoes. But basically, I'm just looking around. I'm pretty sure that is Jackson done, so let's move on to Lucy. Lucy is starting prep, so she didn't need as much stationery and books as Jackson did. She also chose the school backpack. Again, I'm also not going to show you the emblem because, you know, you don't need to really know where the kids go to school, do you? So, um, she has a, she has a wet bag in her bag so i bought these for five dollars from kmart that just has a spare squirt in it as well as a spare pair of undies because just in case accidents might happen um she also has six of these school books so again i brought the covers which is super cute look at those llamas so i brought the covers so i didn't have to contact her books she also got a folder her cute little library bag, which has like rainbows and stuff on it. Her homework book bag. These like mini scrapbooks. I've never actually seen these before. They're like little mini scrapbooks. Her headphones. And then like a shit ton of glue because apparently that's all they use in prep is glue. Um, at her school, all of her textures, pens and pencils are like on a communal desk where they all share so they don't have individual pencils and pens. Oh, so it's, it's hard in here. So that is Lucy's stationery. So my memory card is just full. So I'm back. Anyway, where were we up to? Lucy's Esky stuff. So again, she got an Esky just like a Jackson. They got the same one. So Lucy's little Smiggle lunchbox is here. I paid $15 for these each on sale. So those were them. I also got her the lunch bags and I got the four of these for $30, including postage, I'm pretty sure. Lucy's school issued school bag was $40. I had to also go and buy her new shoes. So I got... I went to the Williams, which is like a shoe shop in Australia. They were doing buy one school shoe, get the second half off. So that's what I did for Lucy's. I got her her white runners as well as these black Mary Janes. So for the two pairs, I think it cost me like $120. So $60 each. And again, I'm not going to show you Lucy's school shirts. 
but I got these little skorts. They've got the little like bike shorts underneath. I got these for $10 from Target as well. So she got these two plus another pair which is in her school for just in case accidents. And then she also got a pair of sports shorts, but again, they've got the school emblem and stuff on it. So she has three full uniforms and Jackson has three full uniforms. So I plan to just do the washing once a week. That is my plan. Um, what else have I got? I will show you my my school stuff because you know why not? Um, I got this super cute pencil case from Kmart. I think it was only five dollars. I also got a whole stack of colorful pens because I'm a like old school note writer. I don't like taking notes on the computer when I'm studying. I like to write it and color code it. So I got a whole bunch of colored pens. They were from Office Works for like six bucks. I also got ugh, these super cute pastel highlighters from Kmart. They were only like four dollars, I think. So it's super affordable. I got a new 2020 diary to keep track of everything. This again was super affordable. It was like $6 from Kmart. I highly recommend it. It's a really great size. I like the ones that have this little string because I like to put papers and bills in there as well and it holds it all together. It's not too thick. It's not too bulky. I like it. I also got two notebooks. So I'm doing four subjects to start with. So one notebook per, um, for two subjects. So they're super cute. Again, I think they're only $2 from Kmart, super cheap. And then I also got this three pack of envelope folders to put all my papers in. I am doing my studies online, so I will be printing out a lot of stuff. So they will go in to the folders. Oh. <sighs> And I think that's it. I am waking up a sweat. I don't know if you can see all these like sweat stains on my shirt. It is disgusting, but it's super hot and I can't have the fan on while I'm filming because it makes this annoying noise. So that is it. That is all our school stuff. How much did it cost us? All up, everything cost us $975 crazy I know but I have been putting away $20 per week uh, to cover this so I had a thousand dollars in savings to pay for everything so I did come under budget and that's what I highly recommend to you guys especially if you've got a child just going into school or going to go into school I suggest putting a small amount of money away each week so this time of year isn't too hard on your wallet so anyway my camera is now flashing that it's gonna die I'm just winning at this YouTube life I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up I will catch you guys in a few days for my next video let me know in the comments below what your prices if you don't mind sharing how much you spent on your kids going back to school and anyway i hope you all have a lovely day thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video